Good morning, everyone. It's Monday morning. I'm here near Lloydminster, Saskatchewan, which is at the border with Alberta. So Lloydminster, Alberta is just on the other side. I'm at the scale where we stopped last night, if you watched yesterday's video. Now we're gonna keep heading west. I have two drops on my trailer, one in Drayton Valley and one up a little north of there in Yellowhead County. Hopefully we can get these both off today. I'm kind of expecting to get one off today, one off tomorrow morning, but uh, if we can get ahead of schedule, get them both done today, that would be fantastic. So let's get going, it's a little bit cold out. It's uh, zero degrees outside right now, uh, 32 Fahrenheit. Time to get rolling, warm things up. The sun hasn't come up yet. Hopefully it'll join us soon. here and then the rest goes to Yellowhead County. They got two off there already. Pretty small yard but it works it's just big enough. I go out that driveway there when I'm done. So I only take the straps off the ones that need it. So as soon as I take those other two off the back on the other side there I'll put straps over those bottom crates again. And as soon as I get that one off the top on that side, i tie these down. I don't know why they didn't just put them all in the back row, so I only had to unstrap one section. But it is what it is. At least my next drop all goes to the same place, and they're expecting me there uh, after I leave here. Just got to fuel up before we leave town. I'm going to grab fuel at Petro Pass here in Drayton Valley. And then we'll... Uh, We'll head on down to the next stop. We'll get there a day early, actually. We called and asked if that was okay, and they were excited to get their delivery a little bit earlier than expected. It's better to be ahead of schedule than behind schedule, right? And we'll be empty, and hopefully I'll have a reload lined up before I go to bed tonight. Headed back east, I'm sure. Or maybe we'll go into BC first. I, I don't know. Proceed to the highlighted route. That's, I was just 
going to tell him that's what I was going to do. We're on the same page, Karen. You talk too much, though. I'm going to grab fuel. It's on the south end of town. I've got my reload. We're going to Meadow Lake, Saskatchewan, picking up some lumber that's taking us down into Minnesota, just south of Minneapolis. We'll get that delivered this week yet, and then we'll go home. Too. That's the rule. We'll make it work. Nice and tight. We'll go close to this side. Oh my. Yeah, that's uh. Go up on the grass here a little bit. Oh yeah, no problem. Tracker Josh has got this. Off roading. Beautiful. And we go this way. Wonderful. It's like they made it just perfectly big enough that I can barely squeak through. Alright, let's go get some go go juice and let's get to Edson. Let's get this trailer unloaded so I can get over Meadow Lake and get it reloaded. They load in Meadow Lake till 10 p.m. So maybe we'll get there tonight yet and get loaded tonight. Yeah, so this is gonna be good. I'm gonna go straight through from Meadow Lake. Go straight there, get that delivered. We're gonna get that off the trailer before the end of the month. Because I know you're watching this in the beginning of November already. I'm trying to finish up this month strong in October. It takes me a little while to get the videos onto YouTube. And then we'll come home from there and get the truck serviced next week. Approaching destination in 300 meters on the right side. I see that. Now, how do I get in there? That's not the entrance. It's right here to my right, but there's got to be a way in. Ah, this has got to be it. You have arrived at your destination on the right side. 2054, 15th Street. Uh, okay, the driveway is... Where? Is it back here? The big open parking lot back here. Is this for trucks? Nice. Ah, here we go. Found it. That's what I'm thinking anyways. Probably uh, fuel up in Minot at the Flying J. Or at uh, Schatz truck. So if they have cheaper fuel, I'll have to take a look on my app yet, see who's got cheaper juice. Whoever's got the cheapest juice, you're gonna get a visit from Trucker Josh. Just saying, that's how you win my business over. All you gotta do is just take that, that number outside on your sign and just wind it back so that it's the lowest in town and you can guarantee I'll come and buy a coffee and fuel from you. Maybe more if you're lucky, we'll see. Anyways, I gotta get my uh, tanks filled up here. I'm back down to like, just below a quarter tank. So we used a lot of fuel coming here from Portage La Prairie. That's where we fueled up last yesterday. Fuel economy wasn't the greatest. I was fighting the wind last night and this morning it was better. That's why we stopped where we did last night so that hopefully the wind would 
died down by today, right? And it, it did die down quite a bit, but we were still fighting a headwind going all the way here. So it is what it is. Just finished up. So we unloaded this side first. I was parked over there and I had to move over closer to this side. We unloaded that side and uh, I didn't bring all of those but I brought 19 of them. Now it's time to go get my next load. So my next load is in Meadow Lake, Saskatchewan. I think I told you that already, right? A load of lumber. It's going to a small town south of Minneapolis in Minnesota and I guess I'll find out tomorrow if I'm going straight through with it. I think I will. Like I already offered. I'll take it straight through. I'll go straight there. But they want to make sure they have a reload for me to come back so I can get Old Blue back for a service. It would be perfect because then I can just run down there, deliver, grab another load, bring it back to the yard, get Old Blue into the shop, have a weekend at home, get the truck all serviced, ready to go again and head back out again next week without skipping a beat. So they're trying to make everything work smoothly for me. And what's the time at home? Time at home is five o'clock. So they've gone home now. I'm not gonna get loaded today. I've already called in. I'm not gonna get there in time. I'll be too late. I'll get there at 11.30 if I don't stop. And uh, they shut down at 10. So I'll get there and I'll be ready for them at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Okay, I'm gonna have just enough hours on my clock to get there, I think. Slide out of their yard here without hitting anything. That is always the goal. Shouldn't be a problem. We're gonna turn right and then get back on Trans Canada Yellowhead Highway. Highway 16 up here. I think that's 16. In Yellow 100 anyway. meters, turn right on Trans Canada Highway, Highway 16. No problem. I think you probably should have waited for me there, but didn't need to force me onto the grass. Let's 
six, six and a half hours of driving, probably six and a half hours of driving to get there. after 10 o'clock and there was two trucks lined up in front of me when I got here so we're like okay I guess we're sleeping here and then suddenly like a minute ago they pulled the the first truck in line here in and they're loading him it's like 11 o'clock are they still loading trucks past 10 o'clock I mean I won't complain but uh, I think this guy in front of me went to bed because the, the first guy moved into the staging area again he's getting loaded over there but this guy, 
hasn't budged. He hasn't moved. I don't think he noticed that the line has moved forward. The loader guy might have to come bang on his door and wake him up. I went and talked to him when I got here, and I asked him like if we're all sleeping here or if they're still loading trucks, and he had no idea. But uh, he said he was probably gonna go to bed right away. Said, okay. I don't think he noticed that the uh, the line has moved forward. I wonder if they're still loading trucks. I mean, this place here. I don't know if you guys remember. Like every time I come here, I always like I'm so impressed with how fast they load trucks here. They can load each truck in less than 10 minutes. Every time I've been here, they get me in here. By the time he lays the first lifts down on my trailer of lumber, 10 minutes, bum, 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 done. The only time it takes longer than that is if he's like looking for the lumber somewhere, has to dig it out, or you know, something like that, where he's like trying to figure out the paperwork or something. So it should be pretty quick if they do load me. I mean, if I do get loaded, I can't go too far. I can pretty much go to the nearest truck stop in town, just down the road. I should have time for that. Yeah. Or maybe they'll let me sleep right on site here when we're done loading. I, I don't know. We'll find out. But I'm going to end this vlog here anyways because I have to put it together. I'm going to get to editing and uh, get some work done while I'm waiting here. So I hope you'll join me tomorrow. If you want to join me here on YouTube, you can join my channel by going down below my video, clicking the Join Now button and become a member. Uh, when you're a member, you get early access to all my videos. You get to watch them first. You also get a special uh, badge beside your comments, and they get sent to a separate folder that goes directly to my phone, and I get to see all those immediately, and they get sent uh, directly to me. I go through all the comments. So all the comments you guys leave, I go through all of them. Those ones just go to a, a special folder where I, where I get notified first about them. So if you want to become a member, click that join now button. It'll, it'll, uh, you can read up more on it there. If not, the best way to support me that's free is hitting that subscribe button, that bell button, so you get a notification when my next video goes up, and leaving me a comment down below. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please join me tomorrow. We're going to be headed to Minnesota, I think. I think they want me to go through with this. They haven't confirmed that yet. We'll find out in the morning. We're either going back home to Manitoba or we're going right through down to Minneapolis area in Minnesota. We'll find out then. Join me.